anyway, y'all might not like my response to this answer, and I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, it says, so I'm a senior in high school in the Los Angeles area. I'm getting really stressed out with my future. I don't feel like I'm ready to be an adult. Child, I'm 33 years old, and I don't feel like I'm ready to be an adult. I'm a mama, and I don't feel like I'm ready to be an adult. <laughs> Is my mother says I'm never gonna amount to anything. I don't like that. I do not like that. I hate when parents like the world is always I mean is already trying to attack our children and bring our children down. So why would you as a mother which you're supposed to be their number one supporter why would you tell your child that? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't care if your child isn't doing what you don't want them to do or if they're not doing well at the moment. You are supposed to help your child with self-esteem, confidence. You're supposed to build your children up so that they believe that they are capable of doing anything like even if your son is a dope dealer, you tell your son he gonna be the best damn dope dealer out there. <laughs> I'm just playing. But y'all get what I'm saying, right? You have to have confidence in your kids. You have to support your kids. You have to let make them believe that they are and that can be great. I hate parents like that. Like just because your life didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to or whatever. Or they're not doing exactly what you want them to do. You try to bring them down. Like, listen, let me go on with the story. Because I'll get off on a tangent with that. Because that really burns me up on the inside. <laughs> anyway, so I'm a theater kid. I love to sing, act, and dance. I've always been doing it since I was in the third grade. And obviously they put in, they had to put you in that because you can't just be a third grader going to all of this stuff yourself. So why wouldn't they support that? I don't get it. Anyway, it's my passion. I'm glad you have a passion because I'm searching for mine. <laughs> so I told my parents that I wanted to go to college for performing arts to follow my dreams. People say I have what it takes. Listen, forget about what people say. You have to believe that you have what it takes. Don't listen up. Don't ever base your life off of what other people say. Believe in yourself. Tell yourself that you can do it because you want to do it. So tell yourself every day, I can do this. Or no matter of fact, say, I will be whatever it is you want yourself to be. And that's for anybody. I will be an actor. I will be a dancer. Or no, no, no. Scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. <laughs> I am a dancer. I am an actor. Change that and say that every single day. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> but my parents told me that my dreams were not an option. Oh, y'all don't know how bad that burns me up on the inside. I'm becoming stressed because I know if I work hard, I can make it in the industry. And I believe that you can too. And I don't even know you. But my parents said that they won't back me. They don't want me to follow my dreams. Why? I'm so confused. I'm willing to have a backup plan. I minor in education. But they said no to performing arts. What do I do? Please help. Okay. Your parents probably aren't supporting you. Because they're probably not happy in their own lives. Like, people set out, get married, have kids, and they forget about their dreams. Or they go to school, get a job that they um, thought that they would like, but then they absolutely hate it. So, when people can't follow their dreams, they tend to um, tell people what they can't do. Have you ever met a successful person that's happy or like um, an entrepreneur, for instance, that'll say, oh, you can't do that. Oh, no, that's not possible. You'll never meet anybody that has thought. Okay, let me scratch that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so frustrated. I hate that so much. But the mo 
those people that you meet that say that that you can't follow your dreams or it's not gonna work for you are the ones that have a job that they hate you know what i'm saying or that have a regular job like go to work every single day nine to five you'll never find somebody that's in control of their lives um entrepreneur singer dancer rapper whatever you'll never find them saying oh you can't do that it's only the regular people the average people that'll say what you can't do listen to me you're going to have to since your parents don't support you in your dreams the only way that you're probably going to be able to follow your dreams is if you are able to take care of yourself I'm not telling you to just up and move out but if your parents don't support you in that way and you decide to go and pursue your dreams they're probably not going to want to support you financially anymore either I don't know but you have to be prepared to take care of yourself financially if they don't want to support you dancing and singing or whatever so listen to me follow your dreams don't ever let anybody I don't care who it is mama daddy grandpa uncle auntie a friend I don't care husband wife follow your dreams do what makes you happy because you're the only one that has to live your life now nobody told me to go to college I just did it on my own because I thought that was the only way to make money right go to school and get a good job that's all we're taught as from the time we're little to the time we grow up and graduate high school but nobody tells you how miserable they are at their jobs how they hate going to work every single day how they hate clocking in and how they spend more time at a job than they do at home how they um live paycheck to paycheck and ain't really got no money in the bank or how they um are just so unhappy with their life or how their jobs are draining the life out of them you know what i'm saying nobody talks about that part nobody talks about the student loans up the wazoo that that i now have to pay back and nobody talks about that the student loan says they want you to pay six hundred dollars a month for some student loans on top of all your other bills nobody tells you about that listen sweetie follow your dreams and you gotta remember you're only gonna be young once so between now especially with dancing and stuff because that industry they want the younger people you know what I'm saying so once you hit about 30 I mean, you still can do it, I'm sure. But they'll start to, they're not going to look at that age as much as they are as your age right now. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is follow your dreams. Don't listen to nobody. But be prepared to take care of yourself. Because, unfortunately, when we live under our parents' roofs in their homes, we have to follow their rules. So, if you're not able to follow their rules and they don't want you to do it, then you might have to move out and take care of yourself. Um, I want you to look up um, Gary V. His name is Gary Vaynerchuk, but if you just type in Gary, and then I think it's just a V or maybe V-E-E, look him up and he'll tell you to F your parents <laughs> and follow your dreams but look him up on Instagram and I think he has a Facebook and he has videos on YouTube but follow him and, and he'll kind of help you out but I say follow your dreams you know and you also have to remember everyone doesn't have dreams either so your parents might not have had any dreams or they may have had to put their dreams on hold to um take care of you or the family or whatever like just sit them down and let them know what they had to do and even be like have you ever had a dream or something that you wanted to do you know
know what I'm saying? Ask them questions, you know? I don't know, sweetie. But that's what I would say, dude. I would really say, um, follow your dreams, but just be prepared to take care of yourself if your parents aren't willing to take care of you anymore. But again, don't look for anyone else's validation. You have to validate yourself. Believe in yourself. Know that you can and you will do it. Follow your dreams. Don't look for anyone to, um, to, uh, up, um, build you up. You have to build yourself up. Don't put that responsibility in someone else's hands. Because once somebody tell you you can't do it, then you will you won't. So, have confidence. Believe in yourself. And you can do whatever it is that you want to do. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> and, uh, oh, oh, oh. I mean, do what's right for you. And, I don't know. I think I answered everything that I need to answer. But anyway, guys, help this guy out. Leave your comments in the section down below. Give him your little pointers or whatever tips. Uh, do what you feel is best, honey. But anyway, guys, if you would like to um, get my opinion on something, please send your lipstick letters to lipsticklady1214 at gmail.com. And um, check out my other two channels, ASMR, Nina Eats.